based on our mentality, gender inequality, cultural and traditional norms. The girl-child education and total development of a girl faces so many threats. One of such acts that poses a big threat to the girl-child education and total development is child marriage. marriage coordinating unit. This was established in 2014 and they have helped to set this program up. In terms of a legal and policy framework, we have a strong legal and policy framework. Since 1998 we have had the Children's Act and we also have the Criminal Offences um, Act. We are coordinating efforts of various stakeholders to end child marriage in Ghana. That is why we are launching a campaign. We want this to be structured and we want to be able to measure. We want to scale up and increase society's actions and also gain legitimacy. We want everybody to buy into this campaign. We want to invest in and support girls. We ask the government of Ghana, together with all our stakeholders, reaffirm our commitment to end child marriage. We want to address the consequences of child marriage and uphold the dignity of our dear children. We are urging all persons to recognize that child marriage is discriminatory. Child marriage is wrong. Child marriage is a manifestation of the girl's unequal status in the society. We acknowledge that child marriage is punishable and a human rights violation. Let us together end child marriage now. Let's empower the next generation. Thank you very much for your attention. It is a pleasure for me to speak at this momentous launch of the AU campaign to end child marriage in Ghana. And I would like to express my sincere gratitude toward the government of the Republic of Ghana as well as its supportive partners and national civil society organizations for their overwhelming commitment and efforts in the fight towards ultimately eradicating child marriage in Africa. On behalf of the executive director of UNICEF, Mr. Anthony Lake, I'm happy to witness this evening the official launch of the Ending Child Marriage Campaign in Ghana. Your Excellencies, Your Excellencies, tonight I wish to congratulate the Government of Ghana for joining the African Union's Continental Campaign to End Child Marriage. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Your Excellency, Your First Lady, and other First Ladies here present, I'm just here to speak to this issue which I think it's very critical for moving our society forward and building human capital. Today I have spoken at the opening of the conference and I've also had what will probably be one of the best sessions that I've had in town today with the parliament talking exactly about this and how parliament should get involved with not only policy, 
implementation and making sure that we can mobilize support at community level. But we also know that it's not just money that's going to do this. It's going to be commitment by each one of us here to, to work towards making sure that every child is protected. Honorable Nana Oye Lithov, that's given the opportunity to speak, I want to put strongly on the table UNFPA's strong commitment and my personal commitment as an African man to stop this. It is unfortunate to note that the challenge of child marriage exists in our society today as a harmful practitioner practice that robs our girls of their education, their childhood, their health, and potentially their future. We all have a role to help end child marriage in Ghana. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to everyone. I consider it a great pleasure to address you this evening. The overwhelming response to my invitation to attend this meeting gives me hope that together we can fight and overcome the challenges that confront us as African people. Ghana's event here tonight is also a positive response to the African Union Continental Call for Action on this issue. Child marriage is a global challenge. Nananu, traditional and religious leaders, we need your support for this campaign. Together, we can end child marriage. Let me say, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important campaign. And we believe that every uh, girl or every child should have the op opportunity to realize their full potential. And that means that they must not be married off early. They must go to school and reach as far as their academic abilities are able to take them. And so I'm very happy that the First Ladies of Africa are here to join uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady and wife of the President of Ghana to launch to launch Ghana's campaign on ending child marriage. This is a campaign we're going to take very seriously. And I'd like to express my appreciation to the President of the National House of Chiefs for committing on behalf of our traditional rulers to assist with all their might in this uh, uh, campaign. As President, I'm going to personally you know, lend my support to this campaign and do every post everything possible to make sure that this campaign is successful. And so on that note, like I said to you this morning, I will do the DC Kwache style, the district commissioner, and say on this occasion, it is my privilege to declare Ghana's campaign on ending child marriage officially launched. Thank you.
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to God be the glory. This was proudly brought to you by the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection with support from UNICEF Ghana, the Canadian Embassy and the Royal Netherlands Embassy.